Hey everybody, I just have a really quick piece of advice slash tip, whatever you want to call it, for those of you who own a GMC Canyon, Chevy Colorado, or Hummer H3 pickup, who's ever had to deal with this little bastard right here. dreaded GM pass lock failure that causes you to have to sit there and wait for 10 minutes to start your car. Yeah, that. You know, there are literally thousands and thousands of complaints about this online, and I really don't know why GM hasn't recalled it. It's so stupid. All right, for those of you who don't know, basically what happens is the little sensor in the lock cylinder here doesn't always recognize the key, so it sometimes thinks the car is being stolen, and it shuts off the fuel pump, so you have to sit there and wait for 10 minutes while it figures out what to go do with itself and if you try to start it even one second before that 10 minutes is up the clock starts over again and you're still stuck and the real pain in the ass is you could go and replace this and the replacement part will probably have the same problem eventually and you'll have to go do it again so i've really been trying to avoid that and i've just been trying little things here and there to see if i could you know fool it or get around it sometimes it it seems like it does it more in the cold weather versus hot weather but then again this past summer i had it happen to me like six times in one day i was ready to drive this thing off a cliff so here's what i've been doing and it's worked for six months so far i have not had a single no start problem while doing this it's so simple it's stupid here's what i want you to do put your key in just click it over one notch right just to the on position wait for about three or four seconds and then start it i don't know why that works of course it's not going to do it here while i'm running the video but you get the point you know i've tried everything there's a couple of videos online where they say to like tap the key you know before you put it in there's a couple of them that say hurry up and do it none of that's worked i've tried manually locking and unlocking the car and not using the fob and it still did it anyway this is the only thing that's worked for me i'm not a rocket scientist despite my name i'm not a mechanic i am not a computer whiz i really don't know why this works but i have my theory and i think it's just you know as computers age just like phones or laptops or anything like that they start to get sluggish and they don't quite know what to do so what I think is happening here is by turning that key and just leaving it for a second so the computer can sit there and think about it and recognize the key, you're giving it that extra time and it starts. I think, I, I don't, like I said, I don't know for sure if that's the case. It's just a theory. That's it. This is just something to try. It may work for you. It may not. Give it a shot. Please let me know in the comments if it worked for you either way. I, I'm just interested to see if this works for anybody else. Yep, that's my advice for you. Hope it works. And uh, yeah, that's really all I got. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Drive safe and have a great day. Thanks for watching.